Hi, I'm Ernie Conover. I've been turning wood for over 30 years. And when I get to the final stage in any turning, I turn to water locks as my finish, for it brings out the natural beauty of the wood. What's more, it's durable and protects a turning, and it's non-toxic once fully cured. Whether it's a spindle or a bowl, I can't overemphasize the importance of proper sanding. For spindle work, I usually can start sanding at 120 to 150 grit and work up to 180. For faceplate work, I generally start with 60 to 80 and work up to 120 to 180, depending on what the bowl is going to be used for. You want to sand in gradual steps, skipping no more than one grade of sandpaper. I'm applying a coat of Waterlock's original sealer finish. I'm using 180 grit sandpaper, which is what I sanded to in the first place. But now with the Waterlock's on there, I'm going to sand it wet. And this greatly increases the efficiency of my sandpaper. It forms a paste. I have no dust in the air. And that taste of wood dust and water locks forms a filler which fills any holes in the pores of my wood and gives me a satin smooth finish. Now that I have it thoroughly sanded out, all marks are gone, I'm going to apply one final heavy coat of water locks, wipe off any excess finish. I don't want it dripping, but I'm now going to let this dry a full 24 hours. Sanding using the lathe as a power source is the best scheme for dry work. However, most bowls today are turned from green wood, which starts to warp within hours of the first coating. Therefore, subsequent coats need to be hand sanded in, as I am doing here. I like to do a final sanding of my spindles up to 180 grit, and now I simply apply the water locks, often with the lathe running at a slow speed like this. Instead of moving your paintbrush, you move the work. Finishing spindles in the lathe makes so much sense, for you can install them in your furniture piece, pre-finished and ready to go, saving much time after assembly. A lustrous finish can usually be achieved in between three and five coats, sanding each coat in with progressively finer sandpaper. The perfect final touch for any wood turning is Waterlock's original sealer finish. Not only does it protect your work for future generations, it's non-toxic once fully cured. Spindles and dry wood bowls may be sanded and finished entirely in the lathe. Greenwood bowls will warp after the first coat, so subsequent coats need to be hand applied. Be sure to sand thoroughly before application of finish. Start with coarse enough paper to remove all tear marks and sand in small steps to 180 to 220 grit, depending on the wood and the amount of gloss desired. Apply Waterlock's original sealer finish with a lint-free cloth and sand it in with the same grit of sandpaper you sanded to in the first place. Apply subsequent coats by sanding them in with 320 and 400 grit paper, never going finer than 400, for it is counterproductive. Always wait 24 hours between coats. All projects should start with Waterlock's original sealer finish, which will yield a medium sheen. If you'd like even a lower luster, you can brush on a final coat of their satin finish. Although it is not compatible with the original formulation, Waterlocks now offers a VOC compliant version of the finish for areas that require it. It can be readily recognized by the green background on the label. Hi, I'm Kelly with Waterlocks. 
Thank you for watching. We hope you found this helpful. There are more videos and guides available at waterlocks.com support. With passion and pride, we've been making Waterlocks resin modified tongue oil wood finishes since 1910 by hand using only the very best ingredients along with our original family formulas. Whether it's our original or marine formula, we have a product that's perfect for your next wood project. To us, there is nothing more rewarding than preserving the authenticity and inherent beauty of wood, which is why wood enthusiasts everywhere choose Waterlocks. Let wood be beautiful.